Good morning. Another day. Another daily harvest testing. Oatmeal. Blueberry, raspberry, oats, mulberry, dragon fruit. I love dragon fruit. Okay, so add a half cup of your preferred milk and stir. That's what it looks like. Okay, I put it in for an extra minute because I like my oatmeal to be nice and thick. There we go. Also, I want to reiterate again that this is not sponsored by Daily Harvest. They just sent me some to try and they gave me an affiliate link. So I put that in the description box with the coupon code, but um, they're not paying me to promote it or anything. I'm just trying it out and I just so happen to be vlogging every day this month, so. I don't even like oatmeal that much, but this is really good. Also, it's very tangy from the dragon fruit and the raspberry, so I feel like I did vanilla almond milk and I would definitely recommend that because I think it cuts a little bit of the tang. Mmm, definitely a big fan so far of the smoothies and the oatmeal. The bowl and the flatbread I tried were good too, but like I said in those videos, they're just, it's just not enough food for me. I need way more food than that for like a meal. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go watch Architectural Digest on YouTube and then I'm gonna work out and get my day started. Of lunch we're doing that same chickpea bowl because it's about to go bad at the end of the month and I want to use them up so we're doing that with some white rice butter lettuce I put a little bit of the Trader Joe's Caesar and then I'm gonna add these jackfruit crab cakes from Trader Joe's this is what they look like and I don't I can't remember if I've had these before or not but yeah very exciting. Another jam-packed day. <laughs> Just finished shooting another audition. And now I have to film the vegan views so that we can film our next episode and have Christmas off. Anyway, so I was going to try to film the cocktail recipe before we do the Q&A. But I think I'm just gonna make the cocktail again tomorrow and film it tomorrow when there's daylight. Again, I'm like fighting with daylight. Um, I just like it better than artificial light, so it's easier to. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And I need to like at least clean the corner because this is gonna be in the shot. But like, I just, I can't. This is an accumulation of a few very busy weeks and absolutely zero time to clean it. So that needs to be taken care of eventually. But for now, we're gonna fake it till you make it. That's what. That's how most of the stuff you see on the internet is. So never forget if you feel bad about your messy home. Most of us also have a messy home. Love. Vlogmas. <laughs> first in the comments. I love that you love Vlogmas. Did you say first? I'm she always the first. She didn't say first, but she was the first to comment. I'm gonna next time. I feel so honored. I love Good morning, happy Tuesday. I am about to go head out to get my nails done. Um, I don't want to, but I really need to because these are so grown out that they're they're so grown out that I'm afraid they're gonna break off at any moment, so I am going to get them removed. But since things are really bad right now in LA, I do wanna just go ahead and get them taken off. So I have hard gels on right now, and I got those done for Jesse and my civil ceremony. I wanted to have like nice nails, and that was when things were starting to reopen. And now I don't want the upkeep of having to like go in every single month. So I'm getting them taken off. I'm just gonna get a manicure and go back to regular polish. So that's that, that's what we're doing. Don't really feel like putting makeup on just for it to be rubbed off by the mask. So I think I'm just gonna do some brows and light mascara. So I'm scheduled to have a COVID test at 2 p.m. Um, and it's really far away and I'm not looking forward to it, 
but my friend is coming to stay with us tomorrow night. She is from out of state and so she needed a place to stay. Um, she actually works in the medical field so she's already been vaccinated which is awesome because then we don't have to worry about possibly infecting her like she's good. I originally had the test scheduled before I knew she was going to be vaccinated and now that I know she's vaccinated I'm like I don't know if I need to. I guess it would just be nice for my own peace of mind to know if I have it. I have to film the cocktail recipe at some point today for the vegan view. I would love to start editing that. I gotta get footage from the girls. Um, that's gonna be a beast to edit because <laughs> we are very chatty. Say goodbye to the beautiful long nails. I will miss you so much. Um, all right, I'm about to head up to go get my COVID test. <sighs> All right, I'm about to head up to go get my COVID test and it's about a 30 minute drive. So I'm gonna try to find a podcast to put on. I brought my Kindle in case there's a line once I get there. Um, but yeah, let's do this. <laughs> this line is insane. Oh my God. It's like never ending. I feel like everybody is trying to get tests in before Christmas so they can see people. But I am listening. You've arrived. Thank you. <laughs> I'm listening to a podcast from This American Life. I saw this particular episode recommended based off of the TikTok I saw about Mormon bishops. Don't ask, don't ask me why. I'm so fascinated, but I am, and so yeah, it's it's good so far. Um, it's episode, geez Louise, it's episode 661 if you want to check it out. Alright, I'm finally home. It's like starting to get dark out now. That was so stressful, not because the test itself was bad, that was fine, but my car started having lights turn on and that's not anything new. I've been having car problems for basically the entire time I've had this car. So that was really stressful. I was just hoping that my engine wouldn't explode while I was in line. Um, and then I couldn't run my air conditioning so I was just sweating and panicking and yeah, then I had to drive home. It ended up taking me like 45 minutes to get home and here we are. But yeah, now I'm gonna just clean and try to get the house in tip top shape for our guest. My friend is coming to stay with us tomorrow night. All right, I have the guest bedroom all set. So this is our office obviously and we have this pull-out couch from Joybird and I never get to use it and I'm so excited that we are able to use it because we have a guest coming tonight but it's been used maybe like two or three times since we've gotten it so <laughs> very excited to put it to use again and take a look at the office because it will never be this clean again <laughs> it's always such a mess since we basically work in here. This is Jesse's side. And then this bookshelf is totally functional, so it's not decorated cute by any means. Kind of just is a cluster right now, but eventually I'd like to get it cute and styled. All right, just ordered some takeout. So this is from a restaurant in LA. It's a vegan Thai food place called Aria's. And this is the Pad Wun Sen, which is Bean thread noodles, tofu, veggies, tomatoes. It's so, so, so good. I love it. And then we also got these cream cheese wontons as an appetizer, vegan of course. And it comes with this little sauce to dip them in, sweet and sour sauce. All right, this is what Jesse got. He got the yellow curry with rice and he added sriracha on top. Good morning. This morning, it's Christmas Eve. I have my Christmas sweatshirt on 
and I'm going to try to order some groceries for Christmas dinner tomorrow. Uh, Jessie's sister is coming over because she's the only family we have in town and we are going to make a nice little Christmas meal and so I want to get some ingredients and yeah, I have, I have the holiday playing. It's like background noise, just feels right. All right, we just ordered breakfast from this new place in LA called Egg Tuck. And f you. <laughs> and um, they have just egg. So they have this vegan burrito. Has just egg, tater tots. I got soy chorizo, avocado, and it has like a chipotle aioli in it. How is it? It's really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Mm. Oh my god. Definitely like classic American breakfast burrito. Yeah! I know! I, know. Like, I seriously was so like touched and grateful that you guys were letting me stay with you guys. So. We love it. Like I would pay you to stay with me. I know I'm actually Okay, I didn't vlog it because I was just like distracted in the moment, but Nisha just came over and social distanced delivered a Christmas present and I opened it and it's a masala chai kit with all the spices and some fresh ginger and she laminated a little recipe and it's so freaking cute. She also gave me a tea strainer and wrote all about the medicinal properties of it and a grater for the ginger. So, so cute and so exciting because I always look at her making chai and I'm like, oh, I love masala chai, but I never, like, it just seems too overwhelming to make it myself. But now I have my little kit and my recipe so I can do it. So, so exciting. And Mona got us these little mugs that that have a little heating pad so they stay warm and it has a little lid too. It's so cute. So now we can make chai later and drink them in our mugs that are gonna keep it warm. It's just so excited. Yay! I look like I'm about to go out in like New York or something. We are about to go to Trader Joe's because I realized we need wine and a few other things. Hello, my handsome. Hello. Are you the bestest boy? Hmm? Oh, did you eat, did, did you just eat dinner? I smell it. So as we were going to Trader Joe's, we saw that this little cheese shop that is over there called Vramage was open. And so we like popped our head in to see if we could get some cheese. And he said, yes. And he is the nicest guy. The cheese there is so good when it's like non-COVID times. Um, I think actually he's probably still doing them during COVID times, but they do these sandwiches and you can get like a caprese with the cheese it's so freaking good um but i wanted to make a cheese board for tomorrow so picked up a few cheeses and he helped us pick out a nice variety so we have a goat style cheese with some herbs we have a brie with truffles and a pepper jack so he was excited because this one looks Christmassy and I think it's so cute. So very, very excited about that. If you guys ever visit LA, make sure you go stop by and support him. He just hand makes the cheese. It's just him. 
such a cool small business and like like I said the nicest guy and so helpful so very very excited but then we got some wine and almond milk from Trader Joe's because um, I think we have just enough almond milk to make Nisha's chai um, but I wanted to make sure we had almond milk for the rest of the week for other stuff. another episode of Hannah and Jesse make something super easy that a monkey could make. This is what we're making. Purple carrot, buffalo cauliflower quesadilla. We are buffalo cauliflower connoisseurs. Like, honestly, we love it. If a place has buffalo cauliflower, we've ordered it. And uh, we're gonna try out the quesadillas. Um, kind of disappointed in this one because the mango wasn't ripe, but I should have checked that before I decided to make this recipe. So we don't have the mango topping, but we still have the buffalo cauliflower and they give you a vegan ranch. All right. I started thinking about tomorrow's charcuterie board and I couldn't wait. So I just made a little mini one. It's not even a mini one. I just put some cheese on a plate with some crackers. <laughs> Anyways, this is the tree line crushed black pepper cheese, which I had originally wanted to get for our charcuterie board, but since we have our new homemade cheese, I figured no. So that with some pita bite crackers. I love tree line cheese. If you guys haven't tried it, definitely try it. Merry Christmas, friends. Cannot believe it is already Christmas. Um, I don't know where this month went, but we are going to run to the store for a couple more things that we need to cook with. And then we are just gonna be hanging out all day. I'm in my sweats. I might change into something more fancy. I did do my hair and makeup. And my battery died. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry, no. Merry Christmas. I'm drinking a coffee my barista made me. Jesse's sister isn't gonna be here for a little, so I'm setting up and I'm gonna film a cocktail recipe for the DNB right now. Then I think I'm gonna make a charcuterie board or a grazing board and film that too. So this is the setup. <laughs> Look who's here! We made Christmas cocktails. Cheers! Woo! <laughs> All right, cheese board is done. We have our cheeses. vegan croissant from Whole Foods. Added some of the salami and the goat cheese from yesterday with some dill. I'm 
doing laundry. So that's what you hear in the background. Um, today is Saturday and tomorrow I'm going to see a couple of my friends who are here from out of town. She is staying with her parents who have a really nice backyard so we are gonna go hang out in their backyard and do a little social distance hello and I'm very, very excited to see them and catch up. It's been so long, over a year. I did end up getting my COVID test back and it's negative, feel good about that. Um, but since tomorrow I'm gonna be busy, I need to edit the vegan view today. It's my week to edit. So I'm going to edit that and I also want to start editing this vlog so that I don't have to worry about it Sunday night and I can just put in that last little bit of footage. I'm doing downstairs editing in front of the TV. I told you guys I like to do that on the weekends. It makes me feel like a little bit less like it's a work day. I've got my iced matcha, got a little energy. Let's get her done. Finally, finally exporting. That edit took way longer than usual. You'll see if you watch the episode on Monday, we did it a little differently. And I think looking back, we would have done something probably differently for the post-production side of things. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. So it's worth it. I would rather it be good and take the extra time. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I'm just getting ready to go see my friends for a little backyard soiree. And I don't know if I'm gonna film just because I just feel weird with my friends who are not internet people, like they don't even use Instagram. So I don't wanna put them in like a uncomfortable situation. Running late, cause I had to run an errand this morning with Jesse and then I'm trading cars with him because my car is uh, as we know, not doing well. All right, I am back home. I had so, so much fun seeing my friends and just getting to catch up with them. One of them lives out of the country um, and the other two live out of state, so. It was really nice just to be able to catch up and see each other's faces in person. Of course, we've all been tested recently and we did this outside and wore masks most of the time. So I do want to just, you know, just disclaim that because I think, you know, that it's important to be as safe as possible right now. We didn't see our families for Christmas because of this and I think, I know a lot of people are making the same sacrifices, so um, yeah, it's uh, tricky times, but I just want to make sure I emphasize that. But yeah, we just, I just got home and we ordered food. So this is a restaurant that if you are ever in LA and you love ramen, you must go to. So it's not a vegan restaurant, but they have a vegan ramen and the vegan ramen is seriously so good. This is what we got. This is from a place called Tatsu. And this is the order that we get. So we get the hippie ramen. You can do gluten-free noodles if you're gluten-free. Uh, no butter, no cheese. I like to get onions and spinach and tofu. And then I also get corn. And then Jesse gets uh, no onions because he doesn't like onions and he adds extra tofu. So it is so good, I'm so excited. All right, I forgot my corn, <laughs> but that's okay, it's still good. And this is what it looks like. Seriously, it's so delicious. Well, hello, sir. Hello. I think we might put on a show while we eat, but then I have to edit. 